Welcome back to the Scott Bike channel and this is Scott. So I wanted to do something a little bit different today and mainly what I wanted to do was to have a discussion about something I've seen online and that is that I'm a fan of Minis Forum uh, Mini PCs and Minis Forum has recently announced a NAS that they call the N5 Pro. So I really like the idea of this thing. Um, the N5 Pro has a Ryzen AI 9 HX Pro 370 processor in it, which is an AI NPU, that is a neural processing unit, as opposed to a CPU, a central processing unit. And the device is sold as a NAS primarily because of the fact that it has five drive bays for three and a half inch drives, presumably spinning drives. And then it also has three drives in it that are NVMEs. And it also has a 10 gigabit network interface and also a five gigabit network interface, which is a little less common in switches today. So looking down through their list here, uh, this device at first glance appears to kind of be a NAS, but the thing about it is that a lot of people will define a NAS as a device that is simply designed to run primarily storage-based applications serving storage to the network. And this device, I think, is a little bit different because the other use case for a NAS is as an application server. So the fact that Minis Forum chose an NPU in this device, namely the AI9HX Pro 370, is a little bit odd to me. Um, odd because if you just wanted to provide a lot of CPU power, you might be looking at something like a Minis Forum uh, MSA2, which was also a, <clears throat> excuse me, a recent, recently announced device that's based on the Ryzen 9 9955HX in their higher end model, which happens to be 16 cores and 32 threads. Whereas this AI processor in this NAS is 12 cores and 24 threads. And so one of the major differences is the fact that this AI processor is a little bit less capable of running heavy duty workloads. Uh, whereas something like the Ryzen 9 9955HX is much better at doing hardcore pure workloads and it actually has a higher power envelope and it's um, basically uh, more for brute force computing. Whereas this um, Ryzen AI 9 HX Pro 370 is what we refer to as a hybrid big little processor design. It has a <clears throat> Zen 4 5, which is really a Zen 4 processor, Zen 5 processor, plus 8 uh, Zen 5C little cores. So they did a little bit more like what um, Intel might have done with their hybrid processors. So I found it a little bit confusing and overall my thoughts are that this is a really neat device but I don't see a lot of applications for it immediately. And AI is mainly a buzzword in the industry right now so anything that says AI customers are really going to jump all over it. That being said, one of the main applications that I see a NAS for is running perhaps a large Plex server. And what's interesting about that is if you look at what Plex might be doing with AI in the future, not now, is that I see Plex coming out with um, 
some perhaps AI voice related applications. And those AI voice related applications might be something like you could be watching a movie and saying, um, find me the scene where the building explodes. And it would be able to do that with an AI neural processor because they're good at processing uh, voice requests and that sort of thing. So <clears throat> kind of when it comes down to it, the 9955HX that we find in the Minis Forum MSA2, which basically has, by the way, the same storage capability. I say the same storage capability because it has uh, the three NVMEs. It does have a PCI Express 16 slot. So expanding storage and adding traditional slots, even in something like a SAS controller is very doable. Um, and it's maybe a little bit more power hungry than something like this AI processor, but it still is a pretty heavy duty machine. Whereas this AI processor, um, yes, it's an AI processor, but it's in a machine that has an expanded storage bus in the sense that they put the five SATA slots for the three and a half inch drives in there. So like I said, again, kind of an interesting choice that they would do that. I don't see an immediate use case for that. So, I mean, obvious things in the Linux world that I'd like to see is I'd like to see something like OBS Studio, perhaps be able to do um, some type of acceleration for its video processing with a uh, NPU. Unfortunately, right now today, it doesn't do that. Um, OBS primarily uses uh, the CPU and the GPU combination uh, just to do brute force computing. And another one would be Handbrake because Handbrake does um, video transcoding primarily. And so right now it uses GPU encoders and decoders. And so having a fast GPU really kind of matters. And um, so that really doesn't use the capability that you might have in a NPU AI type of processor. And perhaps another thing is when I edit and assemble my videos, I use OpenShot. And currently that relies pretty much on the CPU and it does optionally offload some of its capabilities to the uh, GPU. So the thing about it is, as far as Linux is concerned, there are a lot of applications which verge on the uh, AI type of realm, like running a local LLM, but they don't really even use an NPU either. They primarily use the CUDA cores that you might find in a GPU. And so there really aren't any direct applications that I'm seeing right there that would make a use of the NPU. So again, um, just to kind of circle back, I would say that Plex, Jellyfin, and MB could potentially integrate AI for real-time subtitle translation, um, different types of uh, intelligent voice queries or smart scene detection. You know, find me this scene in the movie, as I said earlier on. Um, maybe something like Image, which I've featured on the channel before in a video, could use AI for facial recognition and tagging, and it could do so much more quickly than if it were running directly on a CPU. Um, and there's a lot of applications which are specially purposed to take advantage of those things. Um, the biggest area that I see an NPU providing added value is for an accelerated uh, object detection. So for those of you that watch the channel a lot, you know that I'm deeply into the Unify, Ubiquiti Unify uh, realm. I like their equipment a lot. And one of the devices that they're selling is the AI key to do the smart camera detection. 
So the AI key has an AI processor, an NPU built into it, and that's how it's able to do the smart detection. So you could literally uh, go back and say, uh, find me all deliveries of uh, UPS packages, and it knows how to identify UPS trucks and UPS uniforms, and so therefore it would come up and be able to display those. So I can see a situation where having an NPU on uh, a computer, not necessarily a NAS, but on a computer for object detection, license plate recognition, person tracking, and specific event filtering uh, might really make sense. And you could do that in applications maybe like Frigate or Blue Iris. Um, and so, yeah, I see that the surveillance and security area right now, that uh, that makes a lot of sense. And that's where I see a lot of uh, the home AI apps popping up. Um, as far as LLMs are concerned, yeah, you can run uh, kind of the medium-sized models from 7 billion to uh, 13 billion data points for private mm -hmm. AI chat. But for me, I think the downside of the private AI chat is simply that it's a little bit aged. I like connecting to ChatGPT because I can ask it questions about things that have occurred in the last day or so because it seems to be hooked up to the live internet. Whereas if you download an LLM, it's going to be working on data when that LLM was compiled and assembled. So that um, is not as good a use case to me. The other one I see is uh, document indexing and searching. If you have a large database of documents, um, AI-based OCR in uh, semantic search, summarization for uh, self-hosted knowledge bases um, might make sense. Another application I think I presented before is paperless paperless N NGX, I can see paperless NGX uh, benefiting from an AI type of processor. But again, I, I don't see any of these things as being today anyway, as being NAS types of solutions. I see them as being processor type solutions. So although I see the N5 Pro Minis Forum NAS as being very forward thinking, I don't necessarily see anything today as a solution that they're doing that makes sense to me uh, as far as uh, what they're actually doing. So um, as far as a NAS, purely a NAS, raw NAS throughput, things like file serving, uh, ZFS, RAID, uh, and, and by the way, this N5 Pro, they have a built-in uh, OS that they're presenting. Of course, you could load your own, but this um, uh, OS that they're loading is doing file sharing or file serving, and it's doing ZFS, and so therefore Z-RAID, and it can do things like uh, you know, SMB, NFS, and iSCSI, things you'd expect from a NAS. And then, of course, because we have so much CPU power, we can run applications and be an application server. So we can run containers, I, I would assume. And so um, really when it comes right down to it, um, when Minisform decided to build a, a NAS based on this chip, they were lo really looking for a way to do AI PC branding and because that's really the hot thing in the industry right now. I mean, if you say AI in any of your products, you're gonna have some uh, interest generated. And also I think part of it is they want to future-proof things. Right now, as of this video made in August of 2025, yeah, there aren't a lot of AI applications, but in two to three years, we're likely going to see a whole lot more uh, specifically AI types of things. And also um, it's, it's a form factor and efficiency based thing. So the HX Pro 370's hybrid architecture makes it use uh, less electricity and for something that's going to act as a server or a NAS and be online 24-7, it's going to use a little bit less power 
and that's really appropriate and really interesting as well. So is it reasonable uh, to get this uh, device? And I'd say if you're strictly storage, you could use this, but it's not going to give you any advantage from a storage capability. But if you think that you're going to actually be using AI applications in the future, if you're going to use this as a uh, uh, storage device that's also going to process video from a security uh, perspective uh, from, uh, from your uh, cameras, then I could see the AI functions as providing added value. So really, I just wanted to cover a couple of things, and I think this N5 Pro is a very exciting machine. But as far as the future is concerned, I really think that we're going to see some exciting AI apps coming up. But right now, that's just going to be a TBD. So in summary, the N5 Pro is a really capable application server that just happens to be marketed as a NAS. And be aware of the fact that its $1,000 price point is actually pretty attractive because you can't really get that type of processor and that type of integration in that package for that price. That being said, also be aware that that $1,000 price point is for that unit pretty much bare. You have to go out and buy your memory and you have to go out and buy your storage as well. Anyway, I hope this helps out and thanks for watching today. And don't forget to subscribe and like to the channel and hit your notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.